I'm Musa Kawila and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. If you're on your phone, I hope you're taking pictures of your celebrities, your influencers and pictures of me, okay? Chomi, we are evaging up. Goza bitches, hmm. Enza, it's eating him done in Boiti, baby. What's up with that? Mas Chaba, Dinewo, Fake Sangomas. Bitch! I am Musa Kawula, my friends call me Wendy Williams Light, right? Uh, yesterday or just the other day, we seen obviously your favorite celebrities and your influencers and everybody that we don't know at the Royal Tusopia Awards. Actually, it was the sixth Royal Tusopia Awards and the founder and CEO of this Royal Tusopia Awards is Winning Chaba. If you don't know who Winning Chaba is, I think she was on, remember the first generations where everybody got fired and then she was there as well. And then she had the divorce and whatnot. But then I remember her waiting at the top billing bitch. You remember our top billing days and we lived about so Bell, I, I think her wedding was also there as well. But um shot wake upelile. No ga win upelile so hectic. You know. But anyway, I want us to talk about, okay, you know. There's one thing that's confusing me. On the 20th of February, they had the 5th Royalty Soapy Awards, and then less than a month later, they're doing the 6th Royalty Soapy Awards. So I'm like, what the fuck is that? On the 5th one, on the 20th, I think, Tembisiates, and then we're all there, and now they did another one. Like, but anyway, let's see who was there uh, and whatnot. There's one bitch, it's Sia Papu. I don't know who she is, I don't know what she does, but I know that this dress is giving me like, you know what, metric vibes, metric dance vibes. It's giving me, you know what, like a fat bitch would definitely wear this dress. So I'm not mad at it. It is cute. I'm liking the blue, I'm liking the color, but it is what it is. It's just a basic dress. And then this other bitch, who the fuck is this bitch? Um, she's Melissa, right? I think she was, uh, she, wa she was in the top five of Miss South Africa 2020. Obviously, she didn't win. That's why me and my friends don't know she. But I'm not mad at this dress. I like it. It is cute. Obviously, she's got a nice model body. Nice dress, beautiful gowns. There's nothing to say about the, this bitch. Nobody knows she. But hey, bitch, welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. Let me get me a drink. And then we also have our friend, obviously, uh, Umam Kiza. Sean Kiza was there as well, wearing this nice dress. I like it. I love this dress. I'm not totally obsessed with it, but it is a decent dress. You know, she came with a fringe. She fringed up. And when I'm going to fringe a bit, we're going to talk about that. This one was a decent one. She looks nice and whatever. And then this is Winnie, the CEO and founder of this Royalty Sophia Awards, right? I love her, you know. There's nothing to say. This dress is a basic dress. I think you can just go ask Umama Wasimaraba start and make this dress. It's not, it's not trend setting. But then we also know that these bitches are like old. They know nothing about fashion. But I'm liking the effort, obviously. And congratulations to her uh, with the Royal Tusopi Awards and whatever. I'm thinking, obviously, the show has potential. But I, I, I'm an award to Abu. That, that statue nonsense they win. It is so ugly. They're similar to this. Which other ones? The the Crown Gospel Awards, and then there's these other ones, the South African Film, Don't Do Any. I don't even think they have value. You can just walk in, you just need to act for two seconds at the like Uzalo, then you can win yourself one of these. I think everybody in the industry at this point, they have a SAFTA or a something award, but you know, it's not like an Oscar that you know you can sell on eBay and Amazon for like a million. This shit, even if I think even if I were to walk and see this shit, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even want to pick it up because it just looks cheap as fuck. But it is what it is, and the show obviously this awards nonsense it has put potential and we're rooting i'm personally rooting for winning chaba okay i do want us to move on we're going to talk about what's the what's this bitch this bitch that shaded babes would do more remember you know the man died right hmm that babes man died right and then she was talking shit at the I think it was Channel O party and whatever, like a year end party and whatever. Then she was shading Babe Sodumo because the DJ, for some reason, ended up playing Babe Sodumo's song during her set and whatever. So she got mad. Instead of getting mad at the DJ that, like, 
mixed up the whatever the playlist and whatever she got she decided to take a, a dig at babe soduma and i can't wait for babe soduma to finally address her because you know babes is our friend she's not gonna let this she's not gonna leave this laying down this busisa bitch in my head i'm saying like busisa is giving me you know um she and tegima zwai i'm seeing them being cousins obviously you know they have that dirty look and i, I don't know she can't shake it off and this dress is fine but it, for me it's a little bit too costumey than red carpet I, I don't like this dress but i'm absolutely not hating it either maybe i just don't like the bitch wearing the dress so there could be that too anyway we're going to move on and talk about this Ndavino Kerry. you know that okay, she's the current reigning miss south africa and then she did so terrible at the miss universe bitch this bitch did not place she reminds me of that what what's that what's that bitch with the bald hair and you know the fat bitch that one should have fought some Musida, right? They did so terrible. And is it coincident that they're both from Limpopo and they did so terrible at the, you know, uh, Shudu did uh, Miss, uh, what, Miss World. She couldn't even place anyway. And this one went and did Miss Universe. She couldn't place anyway. I think she like placed at the top 16 and that, that was about it. And you know what, I don't give a shit about this bitch. The, the dress is fine. I don't like her. The only bitch that we know, our friend, obviously, it is Zozi Tunzi and Tamron Green. You know, Tamron's our friend as well. But all the other bitches, let me tell you. Hold on. You remember, uh, I think she's married now to... Spiwa Chabalala. I still don't know how she won because she's never been pretty... But anyway, she won. But you know who we recognize as Miss South Africa the other year is Lisa Lure, who's married to, you know, our friend, Dr. Mosam Tombeni and whatnot. That's a pretty bitch, by the way. Anything else that came after that, after Zozi, actually, I couldn't understand what the fuck they were doing. Anyway, I want us to move on. We're going to talk about Connie Chuen. And she was awarded. What's this award that you get before you die? You know, the last, last one. She won the, or she was awarded rather, the Lifetime Award at the Royalty Soapy Awards. But I want to talk about her dress for a second. I love the dress. This is one of my favorite looks from like the old mamas. I absolutely adore it. I love the hair. I love the makeup. To me, this look made sense. Definitely, she ate. Probably, I would say, at the top two of my favorite looks, this is definitely it. But it's not number one, it's definitely number two. Let me get me a drink. Anyway, we're gonna talk. This bitch, she ate, right? Ooh, she left no crumbs. When I was talking about a favorite look, this is absolutely one of my favorite. She killed this look. Oh my God, Amanda Dupont, you know, she, she bought her breast tears at the Turkey. The breasts are breasting, everything. This look, bitch, this is it. This is how you rock up to the unknown awards, basically. Because nobody knows this Royalty Sophia Awards, or do we? But anyway, she ate, and that, that's all i got to say. We're going to move on. And what the fuck is this child? Oh, my God. This actor child, naked child, man. What the fuck is this nonsense? This child is wearing this cheap as suit, bitch. And I'm thinking, is this mama fault? The, this mama, she's so wrong. Oh my God. So I'm hating this look. It looks, you know, there's this material that my mom, when she used to tell me stories, you know, like from her past and whatsoever, she told me that they used to wear this material. It used to be called Skang Chisaka Kwai. This is a Skang Chisaka Kwai. Definitely. So terrible. It's shiny. It looks cheap. It is terrible. But the child didn't win the award. I don't know what shit he was nominated for, but he also took to Instagram He say, to say that he ain't won. And it's that mama fault. But anyway, fuck these people. We don't know them. We're just going to move on and talk about uh, who's this? Katlejo Danke. Katlejo Danke, our friend, the whore of Note Bitch. Then you know that she has the first child with Petrus Mutsepe, and then now she gave birth to another Petrus Mutsepe child. 
bitch. I don't care who says what. No one is going to convince me otherwise because she and Patrice Motsebe, they've been dating since this bitch was 19. So, you know, she got her bag right. Actually, she also won. She won, I think, Best Lead Actress for Gomorrah for her role at the Gomorrah. So good for she. Congratulations. We like her. She better go get that bag by Patrice Motsebe. And then, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, we're going to move on. I want us to talk about Mfundi Vundla, right? Daddy, he old. He's super old. But then I also know that he is so mean, bitch. This man fired everybody all at the same time. Who does that? This man. He did, remember, Abo, who's the dead man? Hmm. Abo Menzi Ngubani, Abo Ndombi, Sonia Mbele, Abo Winnie, Nchaba, Jason, I think. Jason's name is whatever, Kaluva, and all of them. And that other one that was gay at the show and then he never booked another job after playing the gay role with Jason. That one, Tommy Ngolo, right? They were all there. And then this nigga man, he was like, all of y'all is fired. Then you would know that obviously this is like a story from like you know, 100 years ago. They wanted like pay increase and whatever. Mfundi was like, you know what? Fuck y'all bitches. I'm gonna get rid of all of y'all. And then I'm going to start a new generation, hence we have the generation's light. But you know, if you're as old as we is, you know that this man is the meanest man in the industry. But then he was also awarded like a trailblazer award. What the fuck is that? What is a trailblazer award? Because I feel like, hold on. I feel like this man should have, like, should be getting like, you know, one of those lifetime awards that you get when your life is over then you're gonna die in the next couple of years then you know you should get one of those not a trailblazer award but it is what it is so anyway we're gonna move on i want us to talk about mtuduzi right mtuduzi mtagane then he has another surname similar to dingan that man from the movango with ten thousand surnames i'm like so confused like bitch pick a surname pick one and make it stick so he's like mtuduzi Dagani, something, something, and whatever. But we like him, right? He used to play at the, what's this? What's that show, right? And then he was suffocated. And then now he's playing the dangerous man at the, I think he's like at the Gomorrah or one of those shows. But you know that me and my friends, we don't watch DSTV. So we don't know where this people is acting. <laughs> yeah, okay. We don't know where me, with the men acting, but apparently he's at the deep city. So, you know, it is what it is. But then they're giving me like Valentine's looks and whatever, the red and the white, totally basic, but this man hot, he needs to divorce this bitch. There's this combination, I don't like it. I don't like it for one second, cause I'm to do the can do with a hot bitch like myself. Hey, I'm do. <laughs> Anyway, you know what, that was there. I don't even think they were nominated. They didn't win, but you know what? Cute couple or whatever. We're just moving on. So anyway, th this nigga man, then he won, right? I think he won like best lead actor. He's at the Imbewu and whatever. This look obviously is like, you know what, granddad look, you know? Like this is something that Cyril Ramaphosa and all of them fucking people wear when they go to scam everybody in the parliament, bitch. So there is like no look, but congratulations to him for winning. We don't give a fuck. We're just gonna move on and talk about this Nicky child, right? I don't know him, but uh, he's acting at the Uzalo. I think he won, you know, like a fan favorite actor or something like that. But I don't know him, he cute. He cute. But anyway, the look was nice, you know, he's in red. The one thing about men when it comes to fashion, nobody wants to go like, you know what, overboard and give us the drama and give us looks. Everybody just puts in, it's either a tuxedo or you can go buy your shit at the Maras, Marabastad, like that child, child thing with, with that shiny situation, right? So you can get that, but there, there's nothing to talk about. We're just going to move on. Congratulations to this nigga man. So anyway, this is... Um, Who's this? I remember him. He used to play at uh, Scandal as well. His name is Bowie. I forgot his name. But I'm not mad at this look. It is cute. I'm liking the color. But it's just still just a suit. So there's nothing more to say. But we like it. He cute. And then I think at one time he was like a pastor or something. But anyway, like Cabello. <sighs> Cabello Mabalane, bitch. I'm still like, I'm still not sure how, how he does it because remember, then he was smoking drugs half his career and then 
he married that Gail Mabalane bitch, and now Gail is like having to work 50 jobs because Cabello can't hook up a job except going to church at that ministry, whatever thing, to go preach, but that don't make money now, does it? So basically, Gail Mabalane is like, you know what, the breadwinner. So this one, this Cabello is like babysitting the children while Gail is on set with her mediocre talent bitch. There's a lot going on in that house, but cute family. You know, we're not there. We're just going to move on. Uh, this is Sophie and Daba, right? We like Sophie. Sophie's like been married for like a hundred times, right? Remember then she got married to that one man when she was still at the generations. And then I think there was a second marriage. And then she married to that. She married that Lichaba man. If you like, if you're from Soweto, if you've been to like Villa Gaza Street, you're going to know that down the road, there's a place called Kualichaba and whatnot. So that was Sophie Ndaba's husband, right? That man played Sophie Ndaba to hell and back. Remember when Sophie Ndaba like lost all the way, bitch? It was real sad. Shame. But then now we're seeing her. She's back. This is the funky fringe I was talking about. The fringe. The fringe. So anyway, she showed up. You know, I'm liking that. You know, she's gaining weight. You know, her body is coming back. But she's never going to get it back. But you get what I'm saying. She's like, you know what? Like I said, maybe it's like in the past, the time when I felt like, make sure you're umoya, then also pepuga or something like that. But anyway, we're just going to move on. We like her. Babes, get better with the diabetes or whatever the fuck you got. Or maybe it's the HIV. Because, you know, let me tell you. You know, then you know that everybody has the HIV. Because then nobody wants to condomize. But then when it's time, you know, to deal with the music, then everybody's like, oh, I got the cancer. Like how Lundi got the cancer, but then he was a whore the whole time. And then I'm like, is this the diabetes or it's the cancer? Because then I don't know, or then it's the diabetes or it's the HIV. But I'm just saying that I don't like that poor HIV always, always has to take the fault for everybody. Everybody don't want to condomize. Everybody want to be a whore. But when they look like this and then they look like KO as well, then it's like, oh, no, it's the cancer. Anyway, you know, I'm happy for she. Let me get me a drink. Am I done? Okay, that's it. Bye, everybody. We're done. We'll talk soon. Hi, Sophie. Chow me. <laughs>